Okay, folks, let's get to an acting tip. Acting tip, here you go. If you want to be a successful actor, you've got to ignore years and years, thousands and thousands of failures. Okay? Because you're going to go out on auditions and you're not going to book it. And then you're going to go out again and you're not going to book it. Then you're going to go out again and you're going to get close, but you're not going to book it. Then you're going to be on a veil, but you're not going to book it. Then they're going to put a pin in you. You're not going to book it. Then you're going to go in, you're going to go in for producers and they love you. They're going to bring you back for more producers and the room keeps getting bigger and pretty soon you're in a high rise in Burbank and you've signed a huge contract and you're sitting in a small theater and you're the only star of the show. And it might go to you, but you don't book it. But guess what? You're an actor and you're delusional. So you stay here and you keep acting, no matter what. All right. There is your acting tip for today. Ignore a mounting list of failures and just, you know, keep at it because what the heck else are you going to do? Give up? Move home with a, your tail between your legs? Go get a waiting job? Hope not. Tips. Welcome back, tip heads. I still got to figure out what I'm going to call you guys, the fans of my, the fans of my show. I think tip heads is pretty good, but maybe we should change that. It might sound weird. Uh, all right, actor heads, we've got a great show for you. But oh, hey, holy moly, it's my good friend Allison Raskin. Hey, welcome. We are so, 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 so excited to have you on the show. Wow. We have, I, I, we've watched all your stuff. Who's, who's we? Oh, everybody. My assistant and my, and my assistant's assistant and his assistant and everybody. They love your stuff. They're such a huge fan. And you know what? Honestly, your stuff cracks me up. Would you do the... <laughs> when I do the what? All of it. It's so good. Hey, if you don't mind, have a seat. I'm going to wrap up here real quick. And we'll okay. get right to you. We'll Great. get you right in here. That's perfect for me. Great, great. Oh, my goodness. We got a superstar celebrity on the show. Holy smokes. Okay, play cool. Be cool. Be cool. I'm just going to be cool. I'm going to be myself. Oh, I'm just oh, I'm not going to overthink it that it, this is a celebrity. Okay. Hang on. Hello? Yeah, she's right here. Looks like we've got her. She's got like half a million YouTube subscribers. 750. Yeah, I got to go. Okay. That was my boss, his boss, my boss's boss, his boss. It was uh, three bosses up, so. <laughs> Big deal. Okay, you know, usually we have talents fill out a talent release form, but I forgot to print out more, so we won't even worry. You know what, we'll messenger, we'll send a, my, a motorcycle messenger <laughs> to get you. Okay, come on up, you ready? Sure. Did you get a look at the sides? You don't need a look at the sides, you got it. You just texted me the address. Great, that was it. great, come on up, come on up. How was traffic? Uh, bad. Not too bad? Great. So, I, we're going to play a game right now. Allison, how are you doing this morning? I'm okay. Good. We're, fan we're so excited to hear it. <laughs> Our fans, do you know how many of... It's crazy because we have a lot of the same fans. It, if, if we did a Venn diagram of our fan bases, I think there would be a lot of overlap. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. it's mostly 18 to 24 year old girls for you? For sure. Who are into BMX and uh, motorcycle and skateboarding and stuff like that. Camping. 2017. Yep. Okay. So, in fact, maybe I will draw up a quick. You don't mind if I draw a quick Venn diagram of our fan base? I, I'm actually surprised it took you this long to do it. <laughs> Wow. You can see the bulk of our fan base is sitting right there in the shaded area. <laughs> see? That's a lot of overlap. Yeah. Holy moly. Maybe, you know, maybe some of... <laughs> you have 750,000 subscribers? Uh, yeah. A little over that, yeah. My God, could you imagine if just a tiny portion of those went... And, Clicked over on my button. You know how many I have? How many? 33. That's great. <laughs> Gotta start. That's a big Midwestern family. 
All right, we're going to play a game right now. It's called Food, Gas, or Shelter. Allison, you are auditioning right now to be on this show. Did you know that? No. Allison, YouTube star. Not just a YouTube star. You know why I keep... I'm going to tell you why I keep calling you a star. It's because Scott Rogers was on the show okay. recently, yeah. and he said, you know, Allison's like a star now. Uh, he and said I said, that? I said, holy smokes, i got to get her on the show. How's he doing? He's good. He's doing meditation retreats and all kinds of stuff. He's going to be a father. What? Do it. It was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. We'll cut this out. Has your Instagram turned into everybody's baby? No, I'm not your age. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play a game right now called Food, Gas, or Shelter. Overwhelmingly, this is the most popular part of the show. People love it. Yeah, Are there going to be feedback? Well, I put up one, uh, one tester video for a little bit. And it did well? I, yeah, and I got two comments on it. One comment said, uh, he liked my joke, but not, me not so much. Got it. I've gotten that. And the second comment was, dude, you're great, which the, that guy clearly didn't watch the video. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe he did. But you know what a troll said to me? What? Hang on. I'm going to have you read this. Before we get to our game, that's the most exciting part. This is what a troll said to me recently. I got it here in my notes somewhere. Can you read that out loud? Okay. Right up, right up here for the camera. Um, jump up your own butt and choke on hot farts. <laughs> I've gotten worse. <laughs> to be fair. A lot. I've gotten a lot worse. Can you believe that? Yeah. Now, what um, I was gonna, what I was thinking of writing back, I'm still working on it, but I was gonna write back about, uh, you know, have your, have your mom make you a fart sandwich and then you cut that thing in half and stick a log. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you think that would get him? Yeah. I think that guy's like confused why you haven't written back already. <laughs> I'm going to get him with this zinger. Okay, let's play our game. Food, gas, or shelter. What are you going to put this $20 towards? Now, I am the only casting director in all of town. All of I don't Hollywood. know anything about this game. What am I doing? You're going to pick food, gas, or shelter. What are you going to put your $20 for? I'm going oh, to Venmo you 20 bucks. Whoa, okay. And what am I going to put it towards? What are you going to put it towards? Are you going to put it towards food? Are you going to put it towards gas? Are you going to put it towards shelter? Because I believe that an actor's time uh, and, and an actor's uh, work is valuable and it's worth something, 20 bucks. So I'm gonna give you money. So you can put actor gas in your actor gas tank or actor food in your mouth. Okay. Right? But I can't, I wait to write it down. You're gonna write it down on here, okay. And that's ready? the whole game. That's the whole game, food, okay. gas, or shelter. It's a really fun like game. A question, but. No, it's a game. Okay. Here we go, food, gas, or shelter. You take this and take that. What are you going to pick? Oh man, we are excited. Is there a wrong answer? No one's ever picked wrong. Okay. <laughs> Food! Yeah, everybody, a lot of people pick gas. You know why I think that is? Because you live in the middle of nowhere? Because we're addicted to the blood of the earth. That was my second choice. <laughs> Allison Raskin, we're so excited to have you on the show. Wow, she picked food. What kind of food are you thinking? Um, pizza. Pizza pie. That's a for Okay. segment. Yeah, I just, um, it's very dirty and I don't want to. I just vacuumed in here. Yeah. Uh, it's just not for me. You know I cleaned my whole house just because you were coming over. I was like, I know Allison's a clean person. You were like, yeah, I know Allison has OCD. <laughs> <laughs> you find what works for you and for me it's a chair. I can respect it's like a, that. Yeah. It's a celebrity. Like I have OCD, I'm not just a bit. <laughs> They're not exclusive, but. It's not just a celebrity power move that you No, pull. no. You gotta relax, or just do you. It's working out. I mean, you know, you got 700,000. How many do I have? 30. Maybe I should quit sitting on the ground. But you seem happier with me. You haven't been watching the show. No, I haven't. No. I don't watch YouTube. Let me quote my good friend Scott Rogers, who said, You know, Allison Raskin, she's a star now. I can't believe you said that. That's very nice. I don't think it's accurate, but it's very nice. Yeah, and you know what I did? What? Think, 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 think. The wheels started turning. I went, how do we gotta get her on the show? I gotta capitalize on her success. Great. How did you do it? Um, so, I think a lot of it was luck. So you just keep 
You're mo gonna be moving in I'm and out. I'm gonna be very in and out. Okay, I that's promise. Fine. I'm listening. Yeah. Um, Gabby and I started our YouTube channel in 2014. Actually, I think it's like right now is like literally the three year anniversary. Whoa. Yeah. What it's, an honor. it's this week for sure. I think. Congratulations to Gabby. You don't know me, but still. Yeah. It was a lot of luck. So we like had started the channel, and then we got hired at BuzzFeed, and the BuzzFeed obviously gave us a lot of exposure to grow the channel and then by the time we left we had about 100,000 subscribers um, and then we just kept posting and that's sort of a big part of it is just consistency and like we've never missed a, a release ever so for the first year and a bit it was once a week and then since we've left, left BuzzFeed it's been two a week and we've never missed a slot which is a nightmare. <laughs> Wow. Like no holidays, no, like every week, two videos a week, at but, least. But it's paid off. My friends are calling you st a star. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been very awesome in, in um, helping us transition into other stuff, which is really cool. Um, because I, you know, wanted to write long form and that wasn't really working out. And then suddenly you're writing short form and then you can sell long form. So it's all connected. It all helps itself. It's very funny to be talking to you on the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you refused to sit on the floor. I even vacuumed. I once yeah. quit a class in college, an acting class in college, because there was a lot of floor work. And I thought, I can't do this. <laughs> now, but here's the thing. You know, you get into the dirt, you know, your body gets stronger. Right. It's more just like rationale doesn't necessarily help with mental illness. I'm a, I feel like I'm a little OCD. I always open doors with my pinky finger. From the bottom. It must be hard for you. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a strong pinky. Yeah. Because I figure this is the one that's gonna get the use, the least used. I'm not gonna put this in my mouth. I put this one in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> when I eat. When I eat. <laughs> this one, and then I underneath, right? Because I figure most people grab it somewhere else. Yeah. I'm sure I do a bunch of stuff that you would think is gross and like not cleanliness, but it's just more that certain things are, bother me and other things don't. I know that it's like, it's not rational thinking. Wow. But look at you. 700 million subscribers. No. <laughs> How many has Casey got now? N Casey Neistat? Yeah, he's got like a... A lot. Whole bunch. I don't, I, I'm not necessarily a YouTube, um, like, consumer. I don't really watch a lot of YouTube. I do. Do you? I'm actually a YouTube junkie, a little what bit. What do you watch? I watch uh, one of the guys I'm su subscribed to travels around in an RV all the time. Maybe you can get him on. I've been watching Nomadic Fanatic for a long time. He's actually coming through LA right now pretty oh. close. I probably could get him on. <laughs> <laughs> he drives his RV. He's got his cat, Jax. It's a weird one. I don't know why. Which sort of inspired me to start creating some content. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a very interesting thing, like this cult of personality where like you and your life becomes the commodity. Um, yeah. That's not so much what my channel is, I mean a bit, but nowhere near like what other people's are. Ours is much more just like a comedy channel. Mm -hmm. uh, but there definitely is like the canon of the show. A lot of that is like our true lives. You're definitely different than the most uh, YouTubers. You're like writing and, uh, and making a show. You're not just vlogging. Yeah. No, I've been very adamant against vlogging. Hey, do you have any acting tips for us? Not really. <laughs> I'm definitely not super trained as an actress, and I also and I also don't think that my. But you're a star. I guess to my mom, um, I think that it's like you have to figure out what works for you. So like Amy Poehler in her book said this like great thing where she was like, you had I had to figure out early on like what my currency was. Like everyone has different currency. Like I, there was like a time in my life where I was like auditioning for commercials, and I would like get this call that was like for like a beauty model for like a face product, and I was like, okay, well that's clearly not me. I'm not going to book this. Like everyone was like five ten and gorgeous, and then it's like, well, what am I good at? Like what is my strengths? And then I think you like play to that. So for me, traditional acting isn't it. Like I don't book things when I audition. I'm not like getting me, cast. Me neither. In. Yeah, it's hard. But I create my own stuff and then I put myself in it. I do my best acting when it's actually like m my writing and like my world and my creating. Wait, 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 wait. You're writing this stuff and and acting? Yeah. <laughs> what? That's the whole thing, man. You gotta make your own stuff. You know that. You're doing it. 
Yeah, but I don't write anything. I just come in here and listen to myself frickin' rant and ramble. <laughs> I mean, I think that it, the industry has just changed so much in that anyone can shoot things now and anyone can put stuff up. So even if you're not a writer, you know a writer. Like, I think you have to be collaborating with people and you have to be creating your own content. My friend, like, booked an, a recurring on an Amazon show based off of a YouTube video. Because, like, the assistant watched that YouTube video. You know the movie The Big Lebowski? Yeah. That was all improv. That's a great thing. Let me ask you something, Allison. You're a star. You have half a billion subscribers on YouTube. You create content. You're a writer. Mm -hmm. You're an actor. Mm -hmm. You're a triple threat. A double threat. Double threat. I'm pretty cool. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You were in one of my first web series ever. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's right. That's probably one of my favorite episodes of anything what I've was, ever done. What was that series called? It was called The Lake. You played my fake boyfriend that I found at Home Depot. <laughs> I actually sometimes think that that web series is way funnier than just between us. Is, way funnier than just between us. <laughs> way funnier than just between us. <laughs> way funnier than just between us. <laughs> way funnier. Just, no one watched it. Do you think that in order to succeed today, you have to um, be a celebrity? Actually, a thing that my manager says to me all the time is that some of the clients that make him the most money are the lowest ranked on IMDb. So, I guess that's meant to make me feel better. What <laughs> acting advice would you give to like a 35-year-old actor who's so sick of being here he's going out of his mind? Oh my god. Uh... Just quit? Be a farmer? <laughs> No, don't quit. I mean, I don't know. I think you have to think about what you want your life to look like. Skateboard harder? Skateboard harder. I wrecked my BMX bike last week. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's all right. I just got a cool uh, scar on my face. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I think you have to make your own stuff. I think you have to, like, generate your own stuff and, like, find joy in that and then also be strategic about what you're making and try to get that out there. And, and figure out how to game the system in a way. Can I just get you saying that thing about gaming the system one more time, but just, can you do it a little less? Like, pretend you're a real person. <laughs> you, just gotta, you just gotta game the system. Just throw it away, yeah. Just game the system. Just throw it away. Game the system. Game the system. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, just nonchalant. It's like, let's just do mumblecore. Okay. Just, yeah, just, mm -hmm. just, just, just. This is good. I'm gonna, this is definitely gonna go on to produce. Are you gonna leave here and be like, oh God, I had to shoot in this dirty place? No, because the chair was clean. <laughs> okay, how was New York? New York doing good? Yeah, New York is still there. How about Sully Sullenberger? That guy can do no wrong. Um. Let's talk about our acting tip for today because my acting tip today was ignore a growing mountain of failures. You're a delusional actor, so just keep doing it. I think that delusion is the best thing that can happen to someone. Like, I wish I was more delusional. Really? I think that I'd be so much happier. Oh yeah, people who go and they're like, I just had the best meeting, That's they're definitely gonna buy it. I'm like, what's it like to be you? You're right, there are certain people in this town who are like so confident, I'm like, my god. Yeah, and, they're, and it doesn't even matter if they're right, if they have a right to be confident, because yeah. like, they're happy, unless they're hiding a lot which I guess is possible. Yeah, maybe they're the ones that get home, take off their glasses and... Cry? Yeah, yeah. I think that's everyone, but I don't know. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. We all break down sobbing from time to time. Yeah. What's the biggest film you've ever done? I've never been in a feature film. Oh, no, I was in that one film. What was that Oh. Called? I PA'd it for them. What was their show? What was their movie Dramatics. Called? The Dramatics. Yeah, I have one line in that. Yeah, yeah. I think I have an a beer in there, movie. too. I think it was on Netflix it was pretty for a good. second. I thought it was pretty good. Okay, let me, this is something I like to ask everyone. We're out in Los Angeles. You're not from here, right? No, I'm from New York. You seem like a good person. You seem like you have a, a good family, good parents, mm -hmm. good upbringing. I was very lucky, yeah. Happy home life. Yeah. What are you doing out here? What happened to you? I, 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 I wasn't happy, despite having a happy home life. If that makes sense. You needed more. Yeah. You needed 700,000 subscribers. You said, Mom, Dad, 
I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I gotta go. I mean, I, I always wanted to be a writer, and then mm -hmm. I fell into screenwriting, and I went to school for that, and then I started, you know, because I'm vain and narcissistic, I started putting myself in my own stuff, and, and now here we are. I'm sitting on this chair in this room. So do you consider yourself an actor, or a writer, or a double threat? I've recently gotten the chutzpah to start calling myself a director as well. I think I've now done enough of that that I can add that to the list. Yeah. I'd say instead of actor, I would say comedian in a strange way. Like, I'm not going to be in dramatic films. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Like, that, could, that might be in the future, but I, I, I feel I'm much more of a comedic performer, which I guess is an actress, but not in the sense that, like, I give my character backstory and I, like, do the work. You know what the comedy and tragedy have in common? What? You get paid for either one. <laughs> I didn't have an answer. That's asked, a good but... answer, though. All right. Yesterday we talked about practicing your acting faces, and we went over the main acting faces that there are. Happy person? <laughs> Confused? And goofball? That's good. Thank you. As an actor, do you have any acting faces that you practice regularly? And are there any acting faces you might want to contribute that um, maybe our viewers could practice themselves? Probably just like, disgusted. Disgusted? Yes, yeah, so like. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so let's add another acting face to our list of acting faces. Disgusted, all right, let's give disgusted, Allison. All right. So if anyone, if there's any directors watching or producers and you have a project that requires an acting face of disgusted, I'm the girl for you. Allison Raskin, thanks so much. Before we go, how do you survive in the combine, the jungle? Uh, Upton Sinclair's The Jungle, but LA's, but LA and acting version of that. How do you survive in this rat race how do you break through the noise, and how do you keep your sanity in the meantime? Oh, see, so you lost me on the last one because I haven't. <laughs> but what about the other stuff? Um, I think you just have to stop caring. Like, you just have to, like, every opportunity, like, the moment that the meeting's done, the moment the audition is done, you just have to, like, let it leave your mind and assume you didn't get it. Like, you can't linger on things. You have to have many things going at once, and then no one thing can make or break you. You're totally right. You gotta not care about anything. You gotta have amnesia. Yeah. You gotta walk out of that audition and you gotta go look into the men in black. Right. Mind zapper. Mm hmm Look at this. Because you don't know what's going on. Like, like you could be the contender and, and until the very last minute the part was yours and then something happened in that room and then you'll, you never know that. You know what I always tell myself if I didn't book it? What? Probably not didn't do good enough acting. <laughs> so, that's sort of the opposite of what I'm saying. There's a lot of factors going on that you don't know about. So you could just do your best and then you have to give up. Also, I think my one actual piece of advice is try to never use your sides. Just be completely off book and don't even hold them. You know how I had an acting tip earlier that was, um, don't memorize the lines, learn the story. Okay. And that sounds like some bullshit you could sell for the yeah. like, weekend. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>